Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the lounge. Glad to be here with you guys. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, this is another late podcast, but it's something that, for some reason, I felt like I needed to do this. Um, not necessarily just for me, but mainly for you guys. And, you know, not necessarily just for, you know, a particular person, but... Something told me to do this, and, you know, I kept thinking about it off and on tonight. So, you know, maybe someone needed to hear it. I don't know. Maybe not. But I'm going to talk about it a little, and I hope that, uh, you know, if for some reason you are that person that needs to hear it, I hope that it helps you. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead get this podcast started and uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up tap on that subscribe button share this on twitter facebook or any other social site that you might be a part of all right guys so as you know we went live earlier today uh technically it was yesterday if you'll be technical considering it's 204 in the morning now so we went live last night and it started out with uh really you know i was a little angry myself and we're not going to get into details because you guys don't know all about that and some of you are feeling the same way and about 20 minutes into the live stream things started completely changing it started just going to laughing and and just enjoying being around each other and that means a lot to me and I know it means a lot to you even for the ones that you know I might have just met here recently I can tell that all of you were just having a good time just talking back and forth everybody was chatting back and forth to each other and it was a really good thing to see. It meant that, you know, we've got something here at the lounge. We've got friendships and respect. And the one thing I wanted to talk about tonight is friendships. Being there for each other. No matter what you're going through, the best way to get through being pushed around or being put down or being made fun of or being hurt is exactly what we was doing last night. Having fun and being there for each other. And it's important to know that, to know that there's a place you can go and laugh and escape the negative stuff. And to me, the friendships that we've created, that means a lot to me. And it doesn't matter if people want to laugh about that or people want to make fun of that. Because at the end of the day, you know what matters? It's all of us being there for each other, being supportive, being positive, not negative. You know, the ones with negative mindsets and just a sour mind They're people that's not happy. And because of that, what's happening to us when we really let them get to us? What are we doing? We're becoming unhappy. We're becoming angry. We're becoming frustrated. So we need to really Focus on each other, on relationships 
that we've created here. What matters is the positive things just happening. The way that we talk to each other. The way that we listen to each other. The way we laugh together and have fun. That is what matters. And I know there's a lot of people that's been getting, you know, criticized and put down. But I want you to know something. It's going to be okay. And when you're feeling down because of it, you need to reach out to us. Even if you got a message and say, you know, John, I'm just, I'm having a bad day. I would love to join the, you know, the lounge and uh, come in and chat if, you know, will you go live? Or if I'm live, you just come in and start hanging out with us. The point is, is that we communicate with each other when we're feeling that way. Because that's what friends do. I don't want anybody to bottle it up. I don't want you to bottle it up over and over and over and then eventually just throw in the towel and be like, I'm done. Because the only thing that's doing is giving the people that are negative exactly what they want. For us to give up. For us to give them that, you know, big head on their shoulders that they defeated us and that we can't handle the things that they say. And I'm speaking in general terms here. I'm not pointing out anyone. The point is, friendship is so powerful. And being positive is so powerful. And if we use that together, we can help each other. And if we all come together, we can also help Tina get through it as well. You know, and I'm sure you might listen, Tina, if you don't. It's not like I'm speaking without you here, but we want to be there for you just the same. You are a part of the lounge. You know, you uh, treat everybody in here very politely, respectful. And all of us, you know, being supportive of each other, being there for each other. That is what's going to really make a difference. You know, even if it's a conversation that we're having because someone's not sure, you know, what to do about it, you know, a situation. Being there makes a world of a difference. It's when we're not there that makes it bad. And I don't know about you, but I don't want anybody to feel like they're ever alone because they're not. Not if you're a part of this channel. Not if you're a part of the lounge. You are never alone. When we say friendship, we mean it. And that friendship stands for something here. And it means something to me. And I know it means something to you. You know, last night we were talking and I seen, you know, that, you know, at first in my mind I was like, man, it's it's me tonight. It's me being, you know, attacked and all this. And I told myself, wait a minute, John, it's not just you. It's all of us. You know, last night it was me and Hot Mess. But Hot Mess, nor me, or anyone else, it's not our fault. There's nothing wrong with us and as long as we stick together and support each other 
and be there for each other, we'll get through it every time. We got to remember something. Some of it is just the way social media is. There's going to be the ones that want to, you know, insult and bully and push. But once we start showing the ones that are doing it that we're not paying attention, that's when it's really going to count. And it's time for us to stop giving back. Even though it's not giving back in a good way, it's, you know, us, you know, getting mad and saying stuff, but we got to stick together either way. And I'm not saying that we can't talk about it here at the lounge if we're frustrated, but I'm talking as in, you know, really pointing messages towards anybody specifically. You know, speaking in general terms, I think that that helps all of us because obviously it helps us to get it off our chest, to vent, and that does help. It does. So just know as long as you are a part of the lounge, you will be respected. Because we're all friends here. We're all a family. We look out for each other. We care about each other. We support each other. And if we really, truly come together on that, on whatever situation we're going through, when we put all of our energy together, we'll get through it. We will get through it. You know, bullying is such a horrible thing, and people do it all the time. And it's no fun. But we got to learn to deal with it. I still need to learn to deal with it. You still need to learn to deal with it. We all still need to learn to deal with it, to get through it. Some stuff, yes, goes too far. But then there's things you can do about that. And you have to. Because if you don't, it'll just keep going and going. And, you know, we're already, you know, doing things to try to make it better for us. And that's what matters. You know, I seen Shauna last night. A good example. And really all of you guys. But the one thing Shauna was making sure was that when someone came in, she was saying, hey, this here was no good. Please go to this and help, you know, uh, report that or whatever. She was really showing that she cared about what happened because she does because that's the kind of person she is and then I've seen it from several others that came in you know Linda came in very respectful uh, Lady came in very respectful Stacy country girl be happy Tina, Jeff, Derek. Derek came in very supportive and very angry, but he's showing that he cares just like the rest of us. I'm really proud of who we are. I'm really proud of what the lounge stands for. And if anybody wants to laugh about that, let them laugh. 
because we still have our friendships, our family, and our support. That's what matters. I hope this helps somebody that might be stressed or feeling alone. You don't need to feel alone. You need to know that we're all here for each other. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining last night on the live stream. It meant the world to me. And I really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful night. And please remember, if you are going through something, if you are feeling depressed or just down or aggravated, reach out to one of us. Because I know everyone that's here, I know they care just as much as I do. We'll talk soon.